Vacation means kids will be spending more time outside in the fresh air. Unfortunately, that can lead to bumps, bruises, and burns. Dr. Jeff Van Bendigam, an emergency physician with Meritor, joins us now to talk about common summer injuries for kids. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm sure it's picking up in the yard ER a little bit with kids coming in, the weather's getting a little bit nicer. What are some of the injuries that you're seeing? Well, certainly as school's winding down, the temperature's getting warmer. The types of injuries we see shifts compared to those during the winter months. So we're seeing a lot of head injuries, certainly a lot of fractures these days, and just common cuts and lacerations, the kind that many adults remember having as kids and having to come see us for. Oh, yeah, I remember. I mean, I get them still because I'm pretty klutzy, but, um, you know, helmet safety is a huge thing, especially in the summer. Kids are on skateboards. They're on rollerblades, roller skates, bicycles. How important is that to make sure your child has a properly used helmet? Absolutely, Ashley. It's very, very um, important for children to be wearing a helmet uh, when they're riding bikes, certainly in sports. And any time when they might be uh, moving quickly and hitting their head. We see a lot of children with concussion symptoms, and the best way to not have to come and see us in the emergency department is to prevent it in the first place, and helmet safety is where it starts. Okay. And then, you know, with the warmer temperatures, there's also a threat of overheating and overexhaustion. Can you talk a little bit about that? Certainly. Um, you know, heat exposure, children are more at risk than adults. They have a higher metabolism. They naturally have a slightly higher resting heart rate. So you want to you want to just monitor your children, uh, and just be aware of some of the early signs of heat-related illness. You know, starting off with muscle cramps would be an early sign, and then progressing to headaches, nausea. Do you see that your child's been outside playing and they feel cool and clammy to the touch? Probably need to bring them in, make sure they get well hydrated, and try to avoid them getting into full-blown heat stroke where they have high body temperature, stop sweating, and start to become uh, very ill-appearing. Yeah, and that staying hydrated is so important because kids are outside generally all day playing active, you know, not in the shade. They're in the sun, running around, so it's really important, I'm sure, to stay hydrated. Sure, adults too. And certainly yep. we all want to be outside playing on a beautiful day like yes. today. But it's also important to make sure that, you know, children are going to be busy playing and being children, so they may not realize yep. the cues that you or I would to know that they need to come in and that they need to hydrate. So as parents, just watch for your children if they're complaining of cramps or nausea or headache. It's time to bring them in, hopefully before they start to complain of those things. Make sure they get well hydrated, they're urinating on a regular basis. Okay, absolutely. Very useful information here today. Thank you so much for being here. We will have this whole interview up on our website as well. If you'd like to watch it again, NBC15.com, just click on that video tab. We'll